Hello, my friends. Let's do a review. Forgive me. It's been a while. I've been busy. So, right here, I have a hilt for you to take a look at. This is uh, the Avenger from an um, uh, Etsy store called uh, Aegis Sabres. And it is based off of uh, Jaina Solo's hilt from a Kotobukiya statue that was made, I don't know, I think it looks like it's it was out years ago. So it's kind of an anime-inspired hilt. Um, on the statue, she kind of has one hand in the air, and she's holding this hilt uh, using the force. And uh, it's just a really, really good uh, likeness of the thing. Um, the hilt is 11 and an eighth inches long. It's an LGT style saber with a chassis. And uh, it's one of the more advanced chassis. It has a lot of refinements to the features. It doesn't have eco smooth swing or anything like that. Um, but it does have a, a lot of features. I won't, I want to try to keep the, the review short. So I'm just going to give you a kind of a cursory run through of the features okay. and, uh, sort of, I'll run through the fonts real quick. Um, but I do want to show you the hilt from one end to the other. So you've got this, um, you know, flange type emitter, this little, uh, detail right here, this ring, um kind of functions sort of as a suba but it's, it's more of a hindrance than anything else to handling it this 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 hilt may look um reasonably comfortable and it is but it's not the most comfortable hilt uh that i've ever that i've ever you know handled um but it has a lot of details and it's really refined and well made and uh it's unique and uh very very inexpensive i'll put the link to um aegis uh, sabers website or Etsy store page and then uh, you can see what he has to offer um, shipping was reasonably fast and um, yeah, it was a good experience overall anyway so as I said it has kind of a suba here which um, you know kind of limits where you can handle the the hilt for people that like to choke around the emitter um, this thing is, is a little bit of a hindrance but it does work uh, if you handle it down here, you have this little uh, little detail, which is uh, really nice. I, I like this. I think it's kind of held on by uh, by these two screws. And if you if you get in there and you look at kind of where these um, where these uh, I don't know, grooves or what have you, uh, the gold part sort of just bridges over that. But then if you look inside, you can see that. The gold part kind of extends down to fill in the uh, the grooved areas. So this is kind of sculpted to fit specifically onto this area, which is really nice. Uh, you get your standard um, backlit switch and recharge port setup that you'll find on LGT uh, chassis sabers. Uh, the cutaway here for this hole, it's a little bit sharp. That's, I don't know if you can hear it. But it's, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit sharp, so you have to watch out for that. This is a hilt that probably would work well uh, with gloves. Uh, so you can see all these rings that they have on here, and it has kind of a nice finish to it. It's sort of satiny. I like it. I like it a lot. And then you have a unique cube section here. I've not seen a pommel like this on any other LGT uh, hilts. A little salt shaker kind of opening on the end and this is very nice it's a it's a little bit a little bit sharp on the corners but it's not too bad so this is a very beautiful saber and to turn it on you just hold this didn't hear your music i have it currently set to a purple which is uh jana solo's blade color it's not easy to get the uh, the purple on this, so I'm not going to cycle through the colors. Um, but I will show you that if you do want to cycle through the colors, uh, it's a pulse system, just like you find on most of the hilts that you uh, they get from um, Crimson Dawn or um, Rebel Sabers or Vire Sabers or what have you. Um, it's based on pulses at one second intervals. With this hilt, if you hold this for two pulses, 
it immediately goes into the uh, color cycling and you don't have to actually hold the button. Usually what you do is you pulse it for two seconds, then you have to hold it and then it'll cycle. You let go when you get the color that you want and then you tap the button to lock the color in. But with this one, you just pulse for two seconds and then it kind of starts cycling through the colors all on its own. When you get to the color that you want, you <coughs> excuse me, you tap the button and it locks the color in. Um, that's all well and good. It just means that you sort of have to really pay attention to the uh, to the blade when you get to the color that you want. It makes it a little bit tricky to to lock the colors in. Uh, one of the neat features of this is if you hold this for three seconds. It'll do a voice. I need a weapon! A voice, uh, and yeah, whatever you want to call it. I need a weapon! I think there's three or four different ones. The saber. Take it. The other thing that the saber will do is if you hold this for four seconds, it'll start playing music. Uh, the only thing is, when you start playing music, you have to keep hitting this for four cycles until you cycle through all the music and then you can get to a stop point that's the way it kind of seems to work and um I'll just just gonna avoid that uh you hold this for one pulse you get your lock up effect tapping it gives you a blast for block it's a reasonably loud hilt And then you just hold this. Actually, it's holding this for four pulses turns it off. The music, the music you actually turn on by, you know, I might as well demonstrate it. Why not? It's, I believe, three. You have to cycle through all of them to get to mute. There, there's actually more there, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, so one pulse sound. controls volume. No sound. Out sound. Two pulses, I believe, is effect. Pulse. Yes. I usually leave it at pulse. Pulse. To change fonts, I believe it's holding it for four seconds. Let's give it a try. This is the dark ray font. Anybody who has the uh, Profi version of the uh, LGT uh, chassis won't recognize this font. Unlike the uh, the Profi chassis, this one still has Cal Kestis. There's a little bit of a delay on the clash. It's one of the few flaws of the soundboard. It's not as responsive. But the accelerometer works really well.
lightsaber was Luke's. Solo. So that's pretty much the gambit there. I'm gonna keep it on the uh, You have something I want. Luke Skywalker font. Calcastus. This is where uh, this soundboard really shines. So that's generally how this thing works. And if you want to lock in the font when you turn the saber on or turn the saber off, turning it into deep sleep mode, you want to turn the hilt on and then just hold the button till the saber turns off. And then if you keep an eye on the switch, you'll see it's lit. And when it goes into deep sleep mode, the light turns off. So you don't have that... Uh, music that plays out like you don't hear kylo ren uh, telling you that the war is over and blah 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 uh so it's, it's very quiet the other thing you'll notice is the switch um responds a lot faster it, it's the pulses aren't at one second intervals they kind of just pulse very fast so you just have to pay attention to them um the functionality is the same but everything works a lot quicker as far as turning the saber on As you can see, it was very quick. You're not sitting there waiting for it to finally boot up. It just kind of boots up immediately. And uh, if you watch the pulses, they're, like I said, they're very fast. So they've sped this thing up considerably. And um, I really like this board to the point where, uh, you know, as far as Crimson Dawn goes, I, I'm hoping that you know, I, I, did, I have a mystery box order. Uh, tier three in i hope i get a board similar to this i'm really really kind of tired of the uh the v4 the crack of dawn v4 I've, I, I have enough of those i i i'm ready for something a little bit more advanced so this uh this hilt actually has just a, a very very i consider it a very impressive board uh other than the other than the delay with the clash um that's that's the thing i don't know why and the fact that you have to cycle through the music all the way to the end in order to get, you know, basically the music to stop. Um, this is very, very, uh, very, very impressive board. And uh, it's fairly loud. And um, this is a really decent hilt. Um, you can, of course, you know, you can see both hands fit. It's light enough for one hand. It's spry. Other than the little suba here that kind of limits where you hold it. Um, and that, again, that's all just, uh, an aspect of the design element. I mean, this is based off of an anime hilt. Uh, so for accuracy's sake, you know, you have to deal with what you have to deal with. Um, anyway, so I'll just give you one last look and then I'll let you go and enjoy your Thanksgiving. Yeah. This is really beautiful touch right here. So for for the price, I mean, I I purchased this on on sale. Uh, I I really feel like I I got my money's worth. This is a very very nice hilt, and other than its limitations, which are minor quibbles, that I just felt compelled to point out to you, um, this is a gem. This really is. It's unique. There's not too many of them out there, and I have a feeling that once a uh, once um, Aegis Sabres has sold all of these, then uh, that might be the last you see of them because um, I don't like Schmutz on my Sabres. Um, yeah, it, they seem to be the only one that sells it, so there you go. Anyway, so uh, that's the Aegis Sabres Avenger, as I said, that's based off of um, uh, Jaina Solo's um, a statue by the Japanese company Kotobukiya. So, like I said, I'm assuming that this is an anime-based thing. So, anybody that um, has information regarding that, I, I'm not in the know. I just I just bought it because I I've been I eyeballed it for a while. I'd seen it, and then when it went on sale, 
I just decided I, I wanted to pick it up, you know, just to get my saber fixed at a relatively low low price point. And um, yeah, I I highly recommend this. I, I give this one probably an eight out of ten. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't too long. It ended up being longer than I wanted it to be. And um, I wish everyone a healthy, happy, and safe. Uh, Thanksgiving, please take care of yourselves and your families and your community and everyone you love. Do the right thing. Mask up, wash hands, don't touch face like I do all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, social distance. And, you know, if we, uh, if we all kind of suck it up and do our duty, uh, eventually we'll get over this thing, hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, please subscribe. Um, like, dislike, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you need to do and, uh, share this video, uh, show, show everyone this wonderful saber, uh, drum up some business for Aegis Sabres. I don't work for them. I just, when I see something good, I, uh, I give it props. So, um, that's pretty much it. Again, may the force be with you and I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay. You take care. All my love and I'll catch you next time. Bye.